we've had this intro for a couple years now. It just hit me right now. This is like straight out of a David Simon show. Like this is some sort of uh, Wire-esque Treme, oh. some sort of like <laughs> intro of David of a David Simon show, right there. That it hit me as it was. Happening. Shout out David Simon one time. Yo, fellas, I was I was doing a little grocery shopping. And I walked by the basketball court I usually play, mm-hmm. and it was packed, all three courts packed. And I'm like, yo, maybe I should like play before we do this. You know what I'm saying? So I stop, and I'm with my girlfriend. I stop, and I'm like, yo, let me look at a possession. I just want to see, just because you know, you want to <laughs> see. Him. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you want to see if it's Liddy. <laughs> and I swear to my mother's life, they pass the dude a ball. There's a guy that cuts. No one gives him the ball. Dude dribbles, picks up, dribbles again. I literally look at my girlfriend and go, I'm disgusted. Let's just grocery shop. I'm disgusted. <laughs> Traveling. <laughs> double dribbling. No, I can't. I'm going to get out the house for people that's double dribbling. Fuck, I look like. I'm <laughs> like, You were like that guy, that Twitter uh, persona, the snitch in real life. <laughs> <laughs> It's disgusting, bro. Why are we traveling at the if you if you don't know the rules, don't come play pickup ball. It is, it is kind of I mean, funny where I feel like uh you immediately turn into that like Leo meme where you're just kind of like pointing where you're like yep, 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 yep. Uh I still have not touched a basketball court and I mean we're probably coming up on a full calendar year, it feels like. Uh J- oh. Justin, have you no, it hasn't been that long. I was out there this summer. Uh, have you gotten out there? You, I know we finally get some like good weather in New York. Do you get out there and get some balling in? Mm, I've, I think I've reached a point of my life where we have um, <laughs> unknown ankle injury. Yes, <laughs> Un- uh, unknown tendon injury in my ankle. So yeah, uh, I cannot play basketball. <laughs> and it's like, is it a tendon injury or did you sleep funny? <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool, man. It only gets worse. <laughs> yeah, I can like I can walk I can walk around fine, but last time I hooped, I came down after like I did a Euro step and when I landed on my left foot, I just said, you know, I'm done, I'm going home. <laughs> yeah. and, and walked off the court. Whoa. I, I love, yeah, yeah. That's it. This is like the injury report uh Matt Harrison put in the chat. Uh oh. Justin Catchins out parentheses old. Which, by the way, shout out any sort of uh, any sort of like website that covers NBA injuries. They are having a field day with Grady Dick this week, who was missed a game with a groin injury. He's back in. And people are just like Dick in. So <laughs> I, I want to ask y'all a real question because I, I was gonna send y'all to this, but the, the the thing is, sometimes on basketball Twitter, you don't know what's real and what's like fake. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it said DeAndre Ayton out. <laughs> Mouth trauma. No, you know, it's Chris Middleton. It was Chris Middleton and it was mouth trauma. What is that? I I I mean it depends who you ask. <laughs> Fellas, I, I need I need a thorough description of what that is. You know what I'm saying? Because I was looking at that and I'm thinking. Nah, he didn't tell them this. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's no way he told There's the a lot organization of, of a walk. Good, Jesse. Steve, there's a lot of websites with thorough descriptions of mouth trauma. <laughs> you know, do you think it. you think Middleton it. got back to the locker room and then he's like pulls up Twitter? He's like, "Yo, what the?" And then like pulls the media guy aside. He's like, "Hey, man, we get you say I got hit in the mouth. You come up with something else." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. like, Weisberg no. said he lost the tooth. Mouth trauma is doing a lot of work. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, why don't you just say lost the tooth? Because mouth trauma, I was thinking the madness. And I'm like, yo, I hope you go to therapy. You feel me? I hope you get shit fixed out. I was worried for my man. Losing the tooth, you're rich. That's, you can fix that. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. It is so funny how money changes when a tooth coming out uh, impacts your life. Well, like, yeah. if you have money, you're like, this is actually going to be fine in an hour. Yep, yep. But mouth trauma, you might be going to that therapist for years. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? The only other thing I could think of is like when I was 13 or 14, and if I got hit in the mouth when I had braces, like that's mouth trauma. If you got hit in the mouth when you had braces, because you got you got cuts everywhere, different for sides. Sure. Yeah, that's the only sure. that's the only uh PG one I can think of. The rubber uh, bands. Ugh. Oh man, oh my days, oh my days. <laughs> Oh my days. We don't even gotta discuss it. We don't got we're gonna why are we starting off going down dark roads and shit? Come I know. on, bro. Come I'm, 
Uh, yeah, yeah, John. John Dub, our Indiana Pacers fan, says, "Ouchie, my brackets." Oh man, <laughs> right? yo, those, the those brackets. brackets? Yeah. yeah, March. Yo, let's just. I want to just say, God bless both sides of the March Madness. I felt like there was like a lot of fun moments, but yeah. fellas, the men's final. Holy cow! What a shit show. It. I felt like I don't know about y'all. But the second half, that wasn't the same team. I don't know if something happened in the locker room. I don't know if motherfuckers is like, yo, Zach, I don't know if you could do it, so we don't give a fuck either. Like, it just <laughs> felt like a, the switch turned off. Like, yeah, they could just bust our ass. Like, did y'all not see that, or was it just me? No, it, it the game ended. I mean, yeah. I, th I think Dan Hurley, he's got – I don't know what kind of drugs he's doing or what kind of drugs he's giving to the rest of the UConn Huskies. But the the level of energy he was he was bringing more defensive energy than Purdue. Like Dan Didn't Hurley score. was out. Didn't he walk on the floor during like one of his players' sets? <laughs> like yeah. during the game, and they were like, like what the pushed fuck? him into the action. You can't do that. Yo, he is on one. He is. On yeah, one. I don't know where they found him, but he is on one. He had me straight up rooting for Purdue, and I'm like relative. I wouldn't say I'm a UConn fan, but I'm from Boston, so like we don't, you know, we don't care. We don't have college sports. We have colleges, a ton of colleges, but no real sports up there. Uh, so like you kind of you know, like Ray Allen, Khalid El Amin, come on, Mecca Okafor, right? Oh, There's yeah. a bunch of Andre Drummond. There's Andre a bunch Drummond. of UConn guys you can get excited about. And Dan Hurley, like after watching him for about four or five minutes, I was like, let's go Purdue, let's go Boilermaker. <laughs> Yo, this is what I want to say, man. I've read like so much things on the internet that's like, this is the worst draft class. Zach Eady about to be flipping burgers at Five Guys. I didn't think he was that ass. Like no, he, I've I seen, I've seen worse people win the major awards in college. What was homeboy on um Notre Dame? What was his name? Luke. Hall oh, uh, yes. Yo, oh, he oh. was booty. One Luke Karen Goody? Yo, yes, who Karen Goody. Yo, yo, it's who's better, Zach Eady or, or Luke, bro? Come on. Well, come I, on. Like, yeah, yeah, no, I mean Eady. Yo, hey, Notre Dame produced for about ten straight years a Luke Karen Goody. Like he might have been called <laughs> something else, but every every year they produced another guy. He's like, is he a tight end or is he the power forward for the University of Notre Dame? <laughs> Yo, you know what I'm talking about, bro. You know, there's just certain players like that that have won major college awards, and you're like, like, are we serious? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, is this for real? Like, yeah. I felt like he wasn't that bad. Like, no, he's great. Is his, is his game gonna translate to the NBA? We don't know. Maybe if he learns how to stretch, it might. But it's like, yo, I can see like a Miami Heat being like, "What's up?" Maybe the Timberwolves yeah. be like, "What's up?" Like, well, if, you he know what the, if he goes to the Heat, he'll make an All Star team. <laughs> like, <laughs> he goes, he goes, what did I? I forget what I the comp. I, what did I say? It was Canadian Roy Hibbert? That's <laughs> that's a, the, bro, that's that? accurate. That's accurate as shit. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. but I. I, I remember Roy Hibbert just disappeared out of the league one year. He was a starter and all, oh. near All Star, and then one, then it was over. He was on yo. Parks and Rec, and then that's it. <laughs> it's, it's, yo, it's players like that. Remember Bynum? What the fuck happened? Oh, it he was just a, quit. Yo, he got into yo. bowling. <laughs> he got into bowling. Is this on God? No, I think he. Remember, he got traded to Philly, right? Didn't he get traded to Philly? Yo, and then he bad. went. And then he went out there and uh and he bowled a little. or something or <laughs> no, he, he was like legit crazy. bowling. He yeah. like hurt his knee bowling. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is good. Wait, hold on. John's saying I've never caught more strip. What do you mean? You oh, are you a Purdue man, John? Are you a Purdue man? Is that he, why I forgot? He, he might be Purdue. Shout out Purdue, man. Shout out Purdue. No, man. don't shout out Purdue. All right. All <laughs> I needed, all I needed to win my two little brackets that I made in like five minutes right before the game started <laughs> was Purdue to win. I would have won like five, six hundred dollars. Oof. But Purdue couldn't pull it out. And I I everybody else had Connecticut. So I ain't even placing like top 10. I oh, mean, Justin, I should have I should have introduced you to the, the world of hedging. No. Not to be confused with edging, but <laughs> no, edging. no, I, I, this wasn't this wasn't a gamble. Uh, this was a bracket challenge, not like okay, active. Oh, that's straight the bad, right? Yeah, I, I honestly didn't think anything of it until somebody was like, "Hey, they're mad you're winning this bracket." I'm like, all right, let's go, Zach Eady. <laughs> but I don't know, man. He's slow. That's the problem. Ain't no, yeah. there's no slow bigs who is starting in the league, and he's also not even that like offensively talented. He's yeah. good. He's good, but like. 
<laughs> it's just this back to back. Yeah. That's it, bro. That's all he got. That's all he got. Because Klingon was like on his ass. He was like mm-hmm. he was like hanging on that shoulder, so the turnaround wasn't working. And I mean, you see the NBA right now. The NBA's best player is is gonna be Wimbayama in like a, very yeah. soon. And <laughs> Wimbayama just destroyed that man. I mean, yeah. Edie can't come out to what they're gonna do. Try to have Edie at the perimeter. Done. They're gonna put a smaller guy on him. Easy jump shot. We just saw Wemby. I, I'm sure you guys saw the slow mo clip that was going all over Twitter uh, today. He hits like with a, a in and out, and then brought it back around. I'm like, come on, man. That's like Kyrie. If you just just stretched him out, like yeah, it's Yo. out of control. The hey, seven four doing the sham gone is disrespectful. That's just like <laughs> that's fucked up, bro. And then lay it up like this, like nah, that's fucked. It's up. out of control. Yeah, it's fucked up. That's hey. not fair. We can get we can get Edie with some Jakob po- Poto uh, oh, potential. You know what? Jakob's gonna collect the check for a while. He's yeah. not wrong. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. It he's was- probably got like six cars in that garage. And <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna live a nice, nice little life. <laughs> yeah, he's doing fine. He's doing fine. Uh, I one more thing. Just Edie, you mentioned Klingon from or Klingon, Klingon, Klingon from uh, UConn. They watching them run back and forth in that game. Reminded me of the uh, I'm not really a big Star Wars fans uh, fan, but when you go when um, we're in the win- when they're in the winter season of Star Wars, what are those big fucking things? No, I, I know this is the I wrong. Don't I, don't, I don't don't even the wrong know crowd. Star Wars is like that was my man's dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyways, it, they look like they look like Transformers running back and forth. They look nuts, man. Yeah, just nuts. like real slow, like but you could see them the whole time because they're super big. Uh yeah, eight was it AT AT Walkers AT AT Walk whatever. AT Walkers. That's not that. That's not my man. Whatever or something like that. Yeah. yeah, look at all the fucking nerds in the chat being like, "Why it's <laughs> Imperial Water?" Nah, nah. What's my man that be yelling? The hairy dude. Yeah, Chewbacca. Yeah, that's my guy. He was firing Tony Hawk Pro Skater three. <laughs> <laughs> Super. But you know who else was fired though? You know who else was fired? Who? Caitlin Clark. Yeah. Yo. That first half, I was getting a little shook. I was like, yo, is she going to just, like, bulldozer through everybody? Because, yo, let's be honest. I think the most impressive part of Caitlyn's game is the fact not only is she shooting far, but she able to carry a whole bunch of motherfuckers we don't know. There's a girl on the team that looked like she do improv for a living. And she was looking all right. What's her name? Martin? Kate Martin? She was like, yeah, Martin let's, does. Yo, let's keep Martin. Going. Well, I, what was good about Martin is she probably got some NIL deals, but then also you could sign up for her 301 class at UCB right now. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you know what I'm talking about, bro. But I, I, was, I, just, I just didn't think she was going to be able to finesse the whole bracket. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. So I'm like, yo, when they was cutting it close, I'm like, yo, this is wild. Yeah, uh, John in the chat too saying the Indiana Fever who are going to take her number one. Uh, national televised games have increased by 35 for next year versus the one they had this past year. Yeah, was... no, you go, Justin. My bad. No, I was just saying, like, uh, the Liberty home opener is against the Fever, and I've talked to multiple Liberty season ticket holders who said they're selling their tickets to pay for their season. They're selling yeah. their season over tickets to pay for their entire season ticket package. I would like, say I got the don't yeah, it's wild. That is wild. The W tickets in general, though, like at least in New York, have just gone up. Cause I'm Justin two, not this past year, but the year before, we went to uh the game they got eliminated uh by the Chicago Sky when like Candace Parker was still there in the playoffs. And we sat like basically on the floor. Like we were a couple rows back, but we were like behind yeah. Behind, yeah, like four. We were by, right behind Steve Nash and fourteen Brooklyn Nets who were no longer on the. I've Brooklyn never, I've never seen him again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and and those tickets were one hundred dollars each to sit like on the floor. I got Kelsey tickets to see the Washington Mystics uh, for her birthday, which I think is on like a Monday night, so it's not even like Saturday afternoon. And they were like one fifty a pop, and they're not like on the floor. Like the tickets have gone up. Let's so, go. I, Let's I know. Let's they, go. Look, they, I hope they I hope they open up because uh if you don't know for the Liberty Games at Barclays, they usually they only have the lower level open, mm-hmm. but in some playoff in the Aces game series, they had the upper level open. So I'm thinking I'm hoping that they actually can like sell out Barclays, get capitalized on the Caitlin Clark fever, 
and get the second level open so more people are in there because they're so fun. Those are fun games, and they I'll, are so fun. And Ellie's gonna have, she, mascot in the game, and yeah. she's gonna have a she's gonna have a world tour of getting yeah. everybody's best shot. And ooh, we I hope she's Yo, <laughs> practicing yeah. defense. Yo, Diana <laughs> Taurasi's coming for her neck, boy. Uh, yeah. Diana Taurasi, she gonna treat her like the door back in twenty twenty one. Remember the door story? When yeah, she broke a door. Yeah, that's what she's gonna fit to try to do. Well, with Caitlin, listen, for for all you DT stands, who I am one of them, just you know, ignore the tape from the last two years. That's all I'll say. <laughs> nah, that's a fact. Hey, hey, <laughs> nah, that's a fact. Though. Hey, you know the old heads to get that one more in them to prove <laughs> I, the point. Nah, yeah, dude, I don't think I don't think DT got it at forty one, but I might be wrong. No, uh, DT <laughs> I, slowly edging into Pat Beverly territory. For sure, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> But I, I think the competition is fun. I think it's like if all the girls is like, this is what like made y'all watch this. We coming for her neck. I think that's yeah. going to be fun. Yeah, I, yeah, I want to see Enrique do the slip and slide and off the easy when she played Caitlyn. I'm trying to see some crazy yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Also, but, Caitlyn's going to be partnered up with Aaliyah Boston, too. Who's and like, Kelsey man. Mitchell, who got the yeah. ratchet from three. Yeah, Yo, It's going to be a fun team. Yeah. She yeah. got weapons. She got weapons for sure. Yeah. Also, you know, for that game, shout out to Cardoso on uh shout so out the whole SC team of Cardoso. They couldn't do nothing. They couldn't do nothing when she was down there. It was like, ah, wow. oh, all right. We've <laughs> talked about it on the show. I hate the too small celebration. I think it's used in incorrect times. That would have been the one time where, like, <laughs> if you out rebound them by 800, <laughs> like, yeah. you can hit them with it. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. But hey, man, that was a fun game. Shout out, shout out Dawn 10 times. Yeah. They just put a whole poster for her uh, in Philly because she's from Philly. Shout out her. And look at the man. What well, that's like two chips in like four years. She's doing this. And now, homegirl from Stanford is gone. Yo, Dawn, mm-hmm. let's run a month. Stack them chips up. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> I thought you were about to say you were uh, available for the uh, Stanford gig. Yo, to be honest, California was up. I'm, I'm, I could do something crazy. Call yeah. me, they call me Black Don Nelson, the Haitian Don Nelson. I'm gonna do some <laughs> small ball crazy uh, shit. Like, you see, me? they also call Don Nelson the Black Don Nelson. I think. Yeah, because what are you doing in Hawaii? Selling yeah. weed, right? So, yeah. Yo. Hey, I'm just saying, man. Stanford, come out at me, bro. Come out at me. I played organized ball. I know it, bro. Oh man! All right, where do you want to go next? Yeah. What should we do? Should we do some awards? Let's do let's do the awards. Or actually, before before we do the awards, do we have to talk about Giannis for a second and just like yo, what the like the I, I mean the East was already kind of in flux, and it sounds like it's not going to be a serious injury in the sense that it's not like a tear or anything like that. But it sounds I mean it sounds like he's going to miss two weeks minimum. Which is like at least the first two games of the first round, I would guess. And like they might be, you know, they're hanging on to the two seed right now. Knicks are right behind them. I don't know. Where where are you guys at with the East? You want to go, Justin, or you want me to go? I'm looking at the standings right now, and feel I feel like the uh, the Pacers need to find a way to play the Bucks in the first round. Yeah, honestly, they already got that number, and without Giannis, ooh. But yeah, I mean, the Bucks was already tenuous with the. Uh, how they've been playing and I don't know they don't have an easy first round matchup as it is specking out like it, it could be the Pacers it could be the Sixers it could be the Heat um I mean technically it could be the Bulls or Hawks but Take. probably not <laughs> 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 but if they find pay, play against them that'll be amazing for Giannis uh yeah man it's I don't know much more about the injury other than he's out for the next. He's out for the remainder of the regular season, and they reevaluate during playoffs. So, you know, he's he had that one injury where you thought he like tore his ACL and then came back during what the championship run. So maybe, yeah, it gets talked. But uh, it feels like more of the Bucks' luck this season, and they're already not doing great. Well, they're already what like fifteen out of the last sixteen or something like that. Fifteen and sixteen in the last thirty. Two or something. Yeah, I think Doc Rivers actually just uh got two new guys onto the roster because he had run out of people to throw under the bus. So they signed some guys to some 10 days so he can <laughs> he can run them over. Oh I'm yeah, what's well, you <laughs> chat okay, so, okay. chat letting us know too? Sorry that Drew Holiday signed a four-year extension with uh with the Celtics for 135 mil. Wow. Yeah, that's the shit. That's the shit I like to see. 
That's mm. what I like to see. I'm gonna say this about the East, okay? And I and I mean this with all respect. If you look at the Western Conference, right? If an upset happens, you wouldn't be like, oh, I think it might be time for them to blow up the team. You'd be like, nah, that makes sense on paper. That team is fired. Yo, there's nothing like that in the East. Every team is doing terrible if you're not the Boston Celtics. <laughs> like, legit, bro. Like, unwatchable, like, straight dog shit basketball from <laughs> two to ten is in. Have you seen that before? I've never seen that in my years of watching basketball. It's insane. I so mean, I what? Oh, sorry, go ahead. Start. No, no, I, you go. I don't think even if they had a healthy Giannis, it's going to make a difference, bro. Do you understand what I'm saying? Maybe Eastern Conference Finals, but if you get to the Eastern Conference Finals, I just don't see them taking down the Celtics. Like, obviously, the clear team to make it to the final is the Celtics. In the at, le- at least with the- Giannis, though, you're like, well, you know, at any given point, he could just go on a stretch of, like, 40 and 15, right? Let's like, he could just be the best player. But now, without that, like, Dame, I'm sorry. Like, Dame's fine. Dame's fine. <laughs> yeah, but, like, he- but... <laughs> He apologized like that was on man. I know, I know. Like I know. that was the homie. Like, you know what you gotta tell your other homie you don't fuck with homie? Like, right. <laughs> yeah. But you can't be bringing mans around the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's like, Yeah, he's fine. I can't have that. Yeah, I can't have no, that in I, my function, I, dog. I like the script, I just can't be in it. <laughs> No, I hear you, bro. Yeah, a, you can't make a commitment to that project at the moment. Yeah, for sure. But like, you look at the rest of the East, and what is so wild about we have been making fun of this team for three straight months, and I'm looking at the East, and the only one that I think is like ready for a run is the fucking Sixers. Yeah. Oh. And because they're either going to be a six seed and play like the Knicks or the Magic or the Bucks, whoever falls, or they're the seven seed. And if they win that game, same thing. You're playing one of those teams. And like, listen, I know Embiid has his playoff warts or whatever, but James Harden's not there. Doc Rivers not there. And now Embiid and Maxi are this two man game that I think like you stack them up against the Knicks. I'm taking them against the Magic. I'm taking them against the Bucks right now. I'm taking them. Uh, I still think the Celtics are better than them, but it's insane to me to think that I'm like maybe it's the Celtics Sixers Eastern Conference Finals. That's crazy that I'm that I think that it's wild how bad this conference is. That's why you're making this shit like that. And like to be honest, I trust Nick Nurse. I trust Nick Nurse more than any of the other coaches, more than Doc Rivers, whoever's coaching the Magic. I trust Nick Nurse to do something crazy. So I I see where you're coming from, but yeah, I don't think with Giannis they was gonna do anything crazy. I think they took a risky gamble. And they ain't get that bread back. You feel me? Because <laughs> Drew Holiday, he might get a couple of chips. You feel me with the dip? Yeah. He, actually, he talked about it recently too. I guess he's still like a little salty about it. Like he's like, I understand it's a business, but I I found out through Twitter, I think, or like ten minutes. Like they didn't even give me a heads up. Like I found out last minute. So yeah, I, I, yeah. And if their paths cross, I don't. Dame has had a hard season. I think he's gonna have a bad series. I, mean, yeah. I think Drew Holiday is gonna be on his ass Eat him in up. a way that like is kind of mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, hey, but, like it sucks too because like I think if the if, if Randall was coming back, we'd think, oh, the Knicks maybe have an outside shot. Yeah, I agree. But it's yeah. like they, uh, without that, um, Orlando can still technically fall from like four to the play in or get the second seed is kind of weird um or get to the third seed but nobody trusts orlando and then definitely nobody trusts cleveland yo they're horrible yo yo, yo mike z mike z was going crazy philadelphia is one of the most yo watch cleveland in 10 minutes i said i don't know how motherfuckers do this how do you I, pay for this how do, how do you go to the stadium and pay for this bro it's crazy listen i I was about to say I don't often victory lap, but I'm actually beginning to think that's not true. Uh, I but I, you enter me into the Hall of Fame on being out on Donovan Mitchell before everyone else. All right, <laughs> like I, it's been years now. It's been years now, and I heard it on a podcast today. We're being they were being like, maybe hey, maybe the run has ended with Donovan. We were here. We were here first. Okay, we were here first. Oh, that's a fact. The Donovan Mitchell train. I think I compared him uh, in a live, uh, not a live, uh, playback that we did together to uh, Russell Wilson. And I just want to yeah. say that 
He's Ooh. too aware that the cameras were on him, and now both of their careers. I'm just saying, yeah, Cleveland's ass. I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> yo, 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 Justin, you think we're fronting? They're the worst. Yo, they look like they don't know how to play ball. The coach is doing. Yo, how do you have like six different lineups? Every game is a different lineup. And you and, have people that were like all defensive teams, former all stars. You know what I'm saying, bro? I was like, and, I, and they're just mixing up different names for wings, too. They're like, it's Dean Wade, Max Struess, Max Wade, Dean Struess. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's God, it's bro. clear Donovan is gonna be making that cut phone call. Like, hey, y'all get me out of here now finally. Man, he been kind of sweat. Yo, I bro, I'm gonna say this for what we get to the teams, but I see people putting him on like they're all NBA teams. I'm like, are y'all bro. fucking serious? Bro. Donovan yes. Mitchell, are y'all yo, that's my man's bro. Shout out Queens. But yo, that he's had a season from hell with him, him and the whole cast and crew. Yeah. Give me Garland. Yeah, and the Garland's not even that good. No, <laughs> Garland's like, been horrible. I know what I <laughs> that's my you know that's my man. He I know in booty cheeks, a double pack of ass, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, when I saw him hit six threes against the Pistons in a in the second quarter. Bro, it's been all downhill. Saying, bro. And it was Check against it was against Detroit. He should have had 10. <laughs> that's a fact. That's a fact, boy. <laughs> also, uh, Ernest, we haven't talked. Oh, we got Ernest Myers in the chat. He said, "If we talked about Dallas yet, I'm wearing a Kyrie jersey and nothing else." Uh, yo, D- I'm, I'm, we haven't talked about Dallas. I don't know if we're going to have a long conversation about him, but Dallas is hot right now. Do we want to talk West real quick? We talk, yeah, we talk, yeah, I'm gonna come clean. Yeah, I know I don't rock with Kyrie, but I feel bad. For whoever got to face those two guys in the first round, I you know what I want. I, I'm not gonna say they're gonna beat the Nuggets because because I'm not crazy. I just want to see them play the Nuggets because I know it's seven games and it's gonna be cracking every game. I'm not gonna say they're gonna beat them, but I feel well, like that would be exciting. So you Remember? know what's wild? If Minnesota wins tonight, pretty much locks in Denver to a two three seed, like because Minnesota and Denver they're both tied right now. They're not, and Minnesota has a tiebreaker. So Denver loses tonight. They're either the two or three seed. Uh, Dallas is the five seed. And I'm sorry, Clippers, good night. Yeah, they get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, on God, on God. They get. Like, I don't know. Sorry, sorry to uh, Paul Shear. <laughs> sorry, Billy Crystal. Uh, Clippers <laughs> uh, out in five. So if that happens, we might, we might not see Dallas and the Nuggets until the Western Conference Finals. And Gilbert Arenas is going to be <laughs> sick. Yo. <laughs> yo. 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 Underdog fantasy, just pay us. Just pay us, bro, because we're not racist. That's, what, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. I don't like Jokic, but I could. I know ball. He could play basketball. The, the worst MVP in the last 40 years? Oh, Broski, a man in Canada, won it twice. And that I don't got to say his name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, crazy. it's uh, – Man, it's wild that like you're getting more measured basketball takes from Cameron and Mace than you ever get from Gilbert yo, Arena. That's insane. <laughs> yo, he made killer season and he knows more ball than Gilbert Arenas. That is insane. Man, I was reminded today that uh I was listening to uh what's the Patreon podcast I li- with uh Ian Carmel, Zach Harper, and uh Isaac Lee. I think they call it emotional and NBA podcast that uh Gilbert Arenas. And um, oh man, what's what's the porn star's name? Um, oh, no. uh, me, me, Khalifa. Okay, yeah, had a had a show together for a hot minute, nah, which I'm just like, I swear, that's, just, that's insane. That's I've insane. Never heard of, I've and never that, heard of, and that heard came of. up. That came up because they were talking about Michael Porter Jr.'s most recent podcast episode with uh uh Atlanta Rhodes. So I yeah, I I just I just Gilbert Arenas, man. Gilbert Arenas. It was on Fubo. There we go. Yeah, man. Underdog holla at us. You feel me? Oh man. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. You feel me? But yeah, the way like you were saying though, the West is crazy. It's wide open. Like Bro, it's, I, the I, best. it's the best. It's the best. Like I don't think there's gonna be a more fun first round <laughs> in like the next couple years. It's the best. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> let me live. Let me live. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to Tom Shop, man. I, you, know, you know what was fucked up is my brain kept saying Wiz Khalifa, but I knew it wasn't. 
The West Coast Leaf is cold though. I know Shout that's out what I mean. Out um, but um, but yeah, man, I can't I can't wait for the first round. I can't wait to see what the Pelicans gonna do because that's gonna be crazy. I can't wait to see if Kevin Durant just like goes buck wild, especially if they're playing like the Thunder, you know, yeah. back in OKC. It's gonna be fun. I'm not yeah. really trying to see like uh LA or like hey, Golden State do their thing. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Hey, like, I think uh, like, Brown like, like, Bill is gonna wear the ski mask on court. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it, it was. I don't know why it was wild, but because you froze when you said that, like we, could, we could hear you, but visually you were frozen. That like really threw me through through a loop. Dude, yeah, that was that was a wild one. <laughs> um, hey, I missed what happened. I I kind of I think like one of the Lakers or the Warriors will make the playoffs, but it does feel like both whoever it feels like they're getting smoked. Yeah, like I know no one really believes in Minnesota yet. Neither did ownership, but uh, I like, yeah, I just, I don't see it happening. Honestly, yeah. I think the team, the Lakers, I mean, they, they ever, AD was is out, uh, or was out yesterday and LeBron's out. Uh, but like the team they wanted to face probably is the Thunder. I think that was yeah. their best chance to get into the second round, facing like Definitely. a young team with scrawnier dudes. Like AD can dominate chat. Uh, right. They don't really have size to outside of that, but. Yeah, other than that, uh, the Warriors aren't fun to watch play basketball. Um, the Warriors are just like <laughs> a reminder of your mortality. It's like, oh, this used to be nice. <laughs> Clay Thompson is out here like, hey, man, you know, I'm really just growing into a like, <laughs> part of my life. Draymond is over here trying to deal with issues. It's not, <laughs> it's not fun watching the Warriors at all. Uh, yeah, it really is. It, it is watching. I keep thinking of like stupid uh, analogies that are only for the two, the three of us. That hit, hit, hit it's not, but it is, it is kind of like it is like seeing that improv team where it's just like they're like, hey, we only do seven p.m. shows. Uh, like we're definitely not going to hang after, but uh, we'll get a beer with you at like three p.m. before the show. Like yeah, it's man. over. It's over. The yeah, the, mo- the moment is past. Yeah. The moment is past. Sure. That is what it feels like. And then you got like Brandon Pajemski and Jonathan Kaminga, who look like they're both on speed when they're next to like Clay Thompson, <laughs> <laughs> they're just flying around. Oh man! Oh, who y'all think before we talk about the awards? Who do y'all think's winning tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Nuggets or I got Timberwolves. Ooh, <laughs> Ernest, relax, dude. That is relax. <laughs> that relax. is relax. Aggie rocks. I was gonna about to drop a Molly wow, call. Wow, that uh, was crazy, Ernest. I, I never thought he was spicy like that. <laughs> I, I, so I, Jamal Murray's questionable tonight. Aaron Gordon's questionable tonight. I don't know if they're gonna like. I don't know if Denver's like we'd rather have our guys be healthy, but I think I would lean Denver over Minnesota, though. Yeah. And then it's like Cavs return game. You know he's going to be doing some stupid shit. Is he back? I think so. I, they were oh, no, I, see, I, I see out right now. Oh, it's out, so he's not on in ESPN. No okay. Because oh, like that, earlier it said he was in, like yesterday, I think, or something like that. Yeah, they went back and forth like four times today about whether he was going to be uh, good to go or not. I just hope Anthony Edwards does his thing because the 50 piece was crazy. You feel me? So hopefully you give people more buckets. I'm all here to see the Ant Man do his thing. Yeah. Top he's on. top top two most exciting player. I would say he's, like Wemby. Uh I think he's more exciting than Wemby, but Wemby's crazy. That's what yeah. Go ahead, Justin. My bad. No, I guess that's fair. He may, he may be more excited. And Wemby's kind of like, I don't. What is this? What, uh, Wemby is crazy though. It's like, yo, how how are you doing that? You know what I'm saying? But like, Eddie Edwards is like, ooh, like it's a little more aggressive. But Wemby's like, there's no way you're real. Like, you know what I'm saying? The w- Wemby stuff is like, right? Like, Ant, we've seen uh, versions of this before, and it's like fun and exciting. Wemby, it's like. Legally, he's required three times a game to show us something we've never seen. Yeah, <laughs> like it's insane. it's insane. Like he had a, you know how like you've seen those like scoop layups, you know, like they like come and he was like, well, what if I did a scoop dunk? <laughs> and I was like, how, how physically how does this happen? <laughs> like, was I, wild, but yeah. it was wild. It was it, right, because I know it's impressive, but it also looks wrong. Like mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, you actually messed that up. Like I know it's a dunk, but you did that wrong. <laughs> He's insane, man. He's insane. God bless, God bless the boy for real. I know it's gonna. Be, they they're gonna. Be, I mean, he's gonna be so fun for so long. But 
should we dive in? We dive into let's some dive. awards. Yeah, let's get into the awards. You feel me? I'm I'm gonna go first. You feel me? Straight up, I'm gonna start off with MVP. You know me. Okay. If you guys know, 89 Cavs is all about consistency. So I'm not gonna give the MVP to who you think it is. It's going to my man in Canada. SGA is killing it. Wow. I don't give a damn if his team is third. I don't give a damn if it's second. I don't give a damn if it's first. I'm going with SGA. Why don't we just give it to somebody marketable and cool and a loving <laughs> dad and very Skim. handsome? Well, Skim, well, you know what? The only reason I'll push back on, I'm not really pushing back. I love SGA. Uh, everybody seems to hate that commercial with him and Chet because they don't have they don't have love in their heart. Yeah, I, why are we mad about that? Because they're terrible. <laughs> Wait, some is man, it? I never heard. I haven't heard this. People. Yo, oh bro. man, Twitter what? gets so angry every time. They're like, "Why is he singing?" I'm like, "This is a fucking commercial." What do you mean? Why is he singing? Like, <laughs> it's, it's a not joke. That serious? Yeah, <laughs> like, why are we upset? And I, I honestly think if SGA was doing it without Chet, no one would be mad. I think Chet looks too weird for commercials. I think that's, wow. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I think he's just too weird for commercials. Listen, and I before everybody nah. comes at me, everybody's beautiful. Everyone should be in commercials. I get it. But he's seven foot one and making millions of dollars. So if we're gonna, you know, like can we relax on making sure Chet gets his commercial payments? I mean. <laughs> I can write like some I'm, nice commercials for Chet. I, I, I'm going to jump in. I can write some nice commercials for Chet. Just let me give me Chet and the rights to Snow's Informer, and I'm going to put a nice parody commercial out there. Be beautiful. I think the problem was making Chet look cool. Like, put him in a horse and buggy, would have crushed. You can't have him in, you can't have him in 2024 because he looks like Abe Lincoln. All right. So you have to capitalize on that, you know? I, I don't know. I think Chet. I think Chet. You doing it, bro? I felt like <laughs> when I seen you in uh, was it summer league, whatever. He was with a Instagram thotty. He had shades on. He looked crazy. So I think he got swag. Shout out Chet. But he not my rookie of the year, cause you know, man, my rookie of the year is not from this planet. <laughs> not just that he's not from USA. He's not from this planet, but. And I think if anybody picks another rookie, we're all going to have this rookie. It's Wemby, bro. Wemby is insane. God bless yeah. the kid. You feel me? Shout yeah. out my man Slender Man from France. You feel me? Here, let's let's bounce let's bounce around just so uh, oh, no, before no, no, you go through all of yours. Did uh, Justin? Did you have you had Wemby too? Right? Yeah, I was about to say we for Wemby we can all just like talk. It's Wemby. We yeah. Talked a little bit. It's Wemby. Like if it's yeah. not him for you, I don't know what's going on. With you racist. You gotta, be, yeah. <laughs> you gotta be Gilbert Arenas if it's not Wemby. Straight up, <laughs> bro. When when we do stuff, you can't even do on two K. That us, that us. Like you, two K does not allow you to like do that, and that's what Wimby is doing now. And he's just getting better. He's. I feel like the last month, everything I see is like 33, 19, 7, 6, 4. What? What is this? Yeah. <laughs> It has gotten to the point too where it's like, oh, he only had 18, 13, and nine tonight. <laughs> like that's it. He was on like world. What are you, what's happening? You did know, you see that, the did you see the play yesterday where it was a 301 fast break and you just watched <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even nobody got in the paint. Um, they just, <laughs> and that yeah. should count as a block. Like that's, that's a, a fact. Play. No, like, bro. If people just gave up, <laughs> then, bro. That's we a gotta try. We got to track that stat, like the nah. <laughs> nah. Yeah, tell them I had the nah. But I seen some shit where Wemby was, he was, yo, he was playing like money was on the line game seven against Jokic. And I'm like, this is the shit I like to see. Yeah. You know what? You know, He's like, I know I got embarrassed by the other center. You're not going to embarrass me like the other center. I'm going to try my hardest. I respect Wemby. Yeah. He's lit, he's also, a uh, common man in the chat saying, remember when his block line was two and a half every night? That's we, so I mean, there was like a two-week run where we bet on that every single day. <laughs> and it was like, <laughs> and it was just, he'd get to five. Like, it was in the first quarter. Like, yeah. you'd be like following along on the ESPN app, and it's like, block, rebound, block, rebound, block. It's just insane. God bless him. Yeah, and Tesla, too, the other comment, he said, remember, this is the worst he's ever going to be. I'm, it's Which is crazy. It's, it's crazy. God bless him. Um, and then MVP, did you uh, did you go up uh, north too, Justin? Of course he didn't. Nah, right. I'll be honest. I went real boring with this one, and I, I gave it to Jokic. The only uh, Shea, if Shay if they would have finished one, I would have gave it to Shay. But I just get, I gave it to Jokic. It's on. It's kind of a cop out pick, but yeah. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm, I I don't want to be a hater. Shout out to Mike Poole. 
Why why do you guys think he deserves it this year? I just want to hear. Like, I'm curious. I mean, he is – he's got, like, the craziest numbers. I guess, like, the only person that you could argue that has better numbers than him is Luka. Um, and I think Luka was getting some steam here at the end. Like, I think if the, if the season went on one more month, I think Luka yeah. might have won MVP. Like, he's been crazy down the stretch, and Dallas has been good. But uh, Jokic's numbers are better than SGA's, uh, and Jokic is on the team that's better. I just – I think people also are like, man, can you believe we gave it to Embiid last year when we could have given it to this guy that went on to win the finals MVP? I think there's a little bit of that too. Uh, but I, listen, I'm pro SJ. I love SJ. Nah. You guys know I love SJ. Yo, Mike Z, what kind of people are you talking to? I've never <laughs> heard that before. Yeah. Uh, do you, I mean, I, I'm not talking to anybody. I'm just listening to podcasts. <laughs> uh, I would say Caucasian. They got to be <laughs> Caucasian and say something crazy like that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I would say though, if like, if Embiid was healthy and they were like two, Ooh. I would have a hard time. Because like Embiid's I mean, Embiid, been crazy when crazy. he was healthy, but he's just been out for like two months. So it's kind of yeah. he's an eliminated statistics by the sixty-five game rule, and because without him, the Sixers are just kind of eh. right. Absolutely, absolutely. I actually, yeah, I think Embiid probably would have won it. He was crazy this year. Also, Steve, I'm not hating on SG. I love it. Like, no. I'd be so happy if I just, I'm gone. not even. I'm not even trying to be a hater. I just don't understand why he's getting it again. That's what I. Like, you know, you like, know the real reason he's. You know the real reason he's not getting it again because don't nobody like Jason Tatum. Otherwise, Jason Tatum <laughs> would get this real easy. <laughs> People don't like Jason Tatum. <laughs> I'm, I'm being honest, man. No, yeah, that's on God. That's on God. That's on. God. He's the best player on the best team, and he's not even. Top, he's not even gonna finish like top five, four. Yeah. You know what's think. crazy too? Like he's had. I mean, it's probably more than this. He's had three bad games, but I tell you, people roll up their sleeves anytime the Celtics are in a close game in the fourth quarter, and they're like, "Well, time to murder Jason Tatum." <laughs> like they, they hate. They just hate it, and I get it. They. They fumbled the bag against the Warriors in the finals. They lost to an eight seed, uh, which they should have easily moved into the finals, right? Uh, so I get, the, I get it. But yeah, man, they they do hate Tatum. Yeah, it makes sense. If you if you play for the Yankees, you play for Manchester United. I don't know the equivalent of NFL. I guess the Dallas Cowboys. They are gonna say some crazy shit about you. Yeah. You feel me? So I, I get it. I just, I just in my eyes, I'm like, yo, it's gotta either be SGA or Luca. But shout out your your, your plumber. Five yeah. times, I, mean, I would. I wouldn't be mad at either of those two. Be no way. And I mean, Luca. Luca seriously has been crazy. Like he's been, he's yeah. been so good. And yeah. the fact that they're like going to be a five seed and then probably going a little bit of a run in the playoffs. Like, I wouldn't be mad at that either. But yeah. I do think it's going to be Jokic. Well, what, what do you guys got for the for the uh, defensive play of the year? Man, this is a fun one. I so. I'm gonna. I'm saying Rudy's gonna win. I think Rudy's gonna win. He's on the better team. Like the defense, he's been awesome this year. Rudy's been so good this year. Yeah. The king of the pest. The king he's of the been. Pest. He's been so good that we, no one's even made fun of him in a while. Mm -hmm. Like he's people are just fine with him. Uh, but man, I really want to pick Wemby. <laughs> it. I feel you. I feel you. But I feel like it. They don't. They're not ready for that. The, the no. basketball world, the media, the voters, they're not ready. We're not ready to give him both awards. Let's just give him one. But I'm not going to lie. Rudy, I felt like Rudy got into the heads of, like, the dudes on the bench that be, like, playing wild defense. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Nas and Jaden. Yeah. And, and what's my man? Um, what it, was it? Walker or whatever. Yeah. Like yeah. Shay's cousin. Shay's cousin. Yeah. They, be play, they be pesty, bro. Just annoying. So I, I, I picked Rudy as well. I think he's Liddy. Rudy's yeah. been so good. The guy who owns the team decided he's not going to sell it anymore. <laughs> mm. Yo, they going mm. hell over there. Just keep now, going. Glenn Taylor. Oh man, that, the guy who uh, my favorite player. Who he decided, hey, the best dude you should ever play with is rookie Steph Steph Marbury or fourth year Wally Zerbiak. That guy <laughs> still the owner. But hey, since they. <laughs> The team has uh, doubled in value since they agreed to the sale, so he kind of finessed them. Yeah, and A Rod ain't had no money. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, oh. who, who y'all got for six man though? Oh wait, hold on. Did you have Rudy too, Justin? No, I, I picked Wemby because I'm. I don't have an official ballot. That's more fun. 
Why not? <laughs> yeah, like, nah, if, I, if I, I had an official ballot, maybe I slip. But I'm picking Wimby. He's the player I've seen have the most defensive stuff. Rudy probably gets it. I mean, Rudy's as good as he is, and he has actual perimeter defenders, unlike he had in Utah with Joe Ingles and Donovan Mitchell. So <laughs> That's fair. I'm not mad at that at all. No, no, no. Again, like that's way more fun. Not a uh, six man one. I felt like that one was tricky. I don't know about you guys because I felt like everybody that was like cracking off the bench either like got hurt or like mm-hmm. just had a slump or started like getting put up in the starting lineup. Like, uh, was it Karis Le- Levert? Like, he starts after Donovan went out, he started starting. My man Monk was like hella injured. Like, I don't know when the fuck Monk coming back. What is I, we don't got to worry about it, but something happened with Monk. And it's then done. my man Tim Hardaway, he, he just lost every skill he had. I don't know what happened. <laughs> if he was kicking it with people that was saying mean shit to Kyrie and Kyrie says, I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> but the dude that's been consistent, shout out my man for yelling at your coach, Bogdan, boy. Bogdan oh, is yeah. crazy. I think Bogdan. It's either Bogdan or Nas Reed, <laughs> but I feel like Bogdan is like, he was always Ooh. coming off the bench. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I like uh, Bogdan's fun. I like that. I wish I think if Atlanta was better, he'd be getting more buzz. But I, I think because Atlanta sucks, nobody's talking about him. But I love I mean, he's one of my favorite players. I love Bogey. I don't he know rocks. why. I just I love him. Yeah, he rocks. I man. love him. Solid uh, too. Solid too. Yeah, he's kind of stuck mentioned. in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is. I, I went with uh, the one that you mentioned. I went with Nas Reed, who I'm mm-hmm. nervous might like start too many games for Minnesota with that cat injury that he wouldn't qualify. But I think it's fine. Yeah. Uh, but I like Nas Reed. I think I, I like he. I love. He's got um, man. Who's somebody that comes off the bench that has the confidence that they should start? Like Jordan Clarkson. Yeah, like he yeah, comes yeah. in and he's like. I got to take eight shots fast. <laughs> like I got to yeah, get these up. Yeah, he yeah. takes a ton of shots. Uh, I love Nas Reed. And he seems to be like the fan favorite too. Like Minnesota likes Nas Reed way more than Rudy. I'm telling you that right yeah. now, way more than Cat. Um, I love Nas Reed, so I'm going to take him. But He's I love fun. the bogey pick too. I love bogey. Yeah. Ooh, this is, I think this is the one we have all different picks. I pick Malik Monk. Yeah. Even Ooh, with the injury, uh, even, with, even with the injury, he still played like 70-something games. Uh, you said plays with starter energy. He definitely does. At, at to- he's a lot of times he's their best player on the court. Um, I mean, Domas is dominating, but like it, it's a lot of times it's him. And it, you got to give it up. Energy guy, confidence guy. He's gonna dunk on somebody and yell. It's like Pat Beverly with with skills. Like it's it's very fun to watch. It's very fun to watch Malik Monk play. He's, Malik Monk's Malik Monk's about to get that four year, one hundred and twenty million dollar contract because sure. he's a free agent yeah, to Orlando like, Magic. Get him to Orlando, baby. Ooh, that would be cold, right? That would be cold. I like that. I like that. But yeah, Malik Monk. That's, that's it. I didn't I really have much else to say, but that's it. Now, am I am I wrong to assume we all have the same for MIP? It's all gonna be Tyrese Maxey. I got I got somebody else. You don't have Maxi. I mean, I like Maxi, but in the same way that uh Justin <laughs> took Wemby for defensive player of the year, I don't know. I was ready to I was ready to throw something out there. Go, 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 go. I'm, I'm curious. Uh Chicago Bulls, Kobe White. Cold. Kobe White yeah. is Ooh, nasty dude. now. Cold boy. Dude, he should be sending Christmas cards to Zach Levine. Levine went down Whoa. and then Kobe White turned into Kobe Bryant. He was boy. awesome. <laughs> He's fire, boy. Yeah, he is fire. Boy. I truly no. forgot about Zach Levine once Kobe White's not gone. Like it was a big thing. Like, oh, where is he going to go at the trade deadline? Now nobody's like, whatever, dog. We got, we got Kobe White. <laughs> yeah, he's great, man. He's so fun. I mean, I get I mean, Maxie's definitely going to win. Maxie's incredible, and Maxie's not only incredible, he's fun. Like you just yeah, like yeah. watching Maxie. Yeah. But I just want to give Kobe White a little love. He's fire. That's a great pick. I love that pick. Shout out Kobe White. Did you have uh, Maxie too, Justin? To be honest, uh, I was like, oh, did I forget an award? And it was definitely MIP, <laughs> so I didn't have anybody, but it's Maxi. I that was like, if that's kind of automatic, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but Bottom in the chat says honorable mention Malachi Flynn, yo, yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> he had that one game, and that's all he did. Let that boy live from the Netherlands, let that boy live. Please. <laughs> mm. 
I guess we did have to get some Pistons talk in here. So. Yeah. So, oh, oh, wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ready. Hold on. Let's get it. Let's get it down. The Detroit Minute. Detroit Basketball. Detroit There we go. There we go. Yeah. Any any Pistons takes, Justin? I could get a couple points right now. <laughs> <laughs> right there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was the coldest take you ever had in the history of eighty five cast, boy. That's an awful thing. I respect it. I respect it. <laughs> Oh, that's it. I, we don't have to give them any more airtime. No, 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 okay. score 50 points, and that's it's we're in hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so coach of the year, we all got the same dude, right? We all got Marky D, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. He got if he don't win it, it's crazy. From the G League to flipping this, is it's impressive. It's impressive. The man knows ball. God bless Marky D. But now it's time for what I think is going to get controversial. It's the all NBA teams. I don't know how you want to do this. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna give the keys to Mike Z and you tell. What, me. Why don't we Why don't we all do like uh our first team? First, we'll like do our yeah. first team and then and then yeah bounce around. Okay. Uh, I think first team is probably gonna be pretty similar, right? So I got uh SGA. I got Luca. I've got uh, sorry, I saw a super chat come in from Great Seats still available at Little Caesars. Uh, SGA, Luca, um. Jokic, Giannis, Tatum. That's mine. Yeah. That's mine. I think you don't know ball if you don't pick those five. I think anything is anything that's not those five players. Is, I've seen people put Kawhi. That's insane. Over Man. Tatum is insane. I know. That's how much we hate Tatum, though. Hold on. But we say, Justin, do you know ball, though? Because Justin hasn't said what his five was. Oh, no. That is <laughs> – I, I, I also have that same one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. honestly – it just would have been so great if Steve was like, you don't know ball if you don't have those five. And then Justin's like, here's what I got. Here's what I got. <laughs> I'd have to be a crazy hater. I mean, I knew, the only person you would like, I don't even know if there's somebody I think I'd taken off. Maybe Giannis or Tatum. And I'd have to be stretching because there's nobody on the second team I put over them. Nah, I, I think it's a clear, it's a clear, like, these are the top five. And then there's a second tier player. For sure. Yeah. I'm curious about the second team, though. I still honestly don't know my third team. I'm like, uh, yeah, the third uh, team is when we get there, I'm gonna let y'all know what, what kind of team yeah. it is. But <laughs> what, uh, you know, somebody else go first for the second team. I yeah, my second team, y'all yeah, might be like, Steve going a little crazy. This is what I believe Brunson, Ant Man, KD, Kawhi. Saboner! Oh, oh wow! Yes, sir. Sabonis, second team. All right, I was gonna yes, say sir. I have I have all uh the same four, except I got Anthony Davis over Saboner. That's insane to me. Oh, AD's been in- amazing this year. I feel like Saboner getting no Saboner is cold. I know, like, but that I yeah. Anthony I get Davis. It. I get it. Anthony Davis is like we know what you're gonna do, bro. And it's never gonna be enough for the world. But Saboner is like, yo, I'm here right now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all think yeah. it's Fox, but it's really me. You know what I'm saying? I feel it. I feel it. I'm, t- I'm taking AG though. Who do you got, Justin? Uh, to be honest, I was stretching here, but I, I have Aunt Edwards, Jalen Brunson, I got Anthony Davis, Tyrese Maxey. Whoa! All right, and and Sabonis. It's about wow, bunch of AD haters, man. Bunch yo, of wait, no, AD is on my team. Oh, you yo. said AD. I'm sorry. Are you an AD yeah. and Sabonis? My bad. Maxie's wild. I <laughs> love it. Maxie's <laughs> crazy. Y'all can't like see. We're in the same. That's crazy. And I live in Philadelphia. That's <laughs> Maxi third team would have been kind of wild, but you could have talked me into it. But second team, I love it, man. I'm here for it. I'm okay, because you'll see what I did with my third team. Yo, the third team is motherfuckers. It's like, hey, I could still play basketball at a high level. That's that's what this team is. All right. So you got Curry, <laughs> Braun, Braun, yep, AD. You gotta get man the black the black Troy Bolton. We gotta get Halliburton in there. And this is the, the last one I didn't really know what to do, so y'all might say I'm a little crazy. I might take it left, even though my mans can't go left, Jalen Brown. Let's go. I had Jalen Brown in there, too. 
Let's I go. Had <laughs> I had Jalen Brown. I had Sabonis that's already used AD. Um, I had, uh, oh my God, I had Steph Curry as well. I did not have Halliburton though. I, I, I can't believe I'm saying this because I've made fun of this person so much. I think I got Paul George. That's the, mm. he's the bad man. He he's been awesome, right? Oh, right. He's been so, so good. And now I'm now forgetting who my fifth guy was. I know it wasn't Halliburton, but I'm forgetting who my fifth guy was. I'm sorry. Justin, you, you can go. Let me pull up my fifth guy. Yeah. I, I looked at this team, and honestly, if if I wasn't trying to do the legacy thing, Kawhi probably would have done a second team over Maxi. But mm-hmm. whatever. It's my team. I'm voting on it. So I have, like Steve, I have Steph. I'm almost in the same order. Steph Curry, LeBron James, Durant. Uh, then I have Kawhi and I have Jalen Brown. I feel like yeah. the Celtics are a team and they're good because they're a team. They got to have two players on here. Yeah. Shout out to Paul George, but the Clippers can't have two players on here and the Celtics not. I, yeah. yeah. Actually, that's who I, LeBron was the fifth one. I forgot. I forgot. So to y'all, y'all think Halliburton ended his season that you, bad? Yeah. That man. Get, that's crazy. <laughs> to me, that's Dude, a little wild. Let me, I'll actually Google it. Hold on. Let me uh, stat muse this. Um, Let's do uh, Tyrese Halliburton's last 30 games. All right, so let's do Tyrese Halliburton's last 30 games. He's thrown up uh, 17 points, 9 assists, 3 rebounds in his last 30 games. Which, I mean, it's not terrible. But I think – I think actually, that's a great point, Steve. Like, maybe, maybe he was just playing so well at the beginning that even though he's playing fine right now, uh, it feels worse than it is because of how well he was playing at the beginning. But it does feel like a drop-off. Like, the shit that we saw in the in-season tournament compared to what we've seen the last couple of months is, like, yeah, it's night crazy. and day. It's, it's, it, to me, though, it's not as crazy as Donovan Mitchell. It's, it, let yeah. me paraphrase that again. It's not as crazy as the whole entire Cleveland Cavaliers, but I get where you're coming from. Yeah, well, I did not put one Cavalier on my own. Nah, <laughs> when I, you know, I've seen motherfuckers have Donovan Mitchell. I said, no, you I can't. gotta smoke crack. Fen and all, meth, everything to put I, down the Mitchell. I do think Halliburton isn't like he's there. You know what I'm saying? Like if he doesn't yeah. get 15, he's in that 15 to 20 range. Like I think he's right there. He's for right sure, there. for sure, for sure. It is kind of wild if they like, you know, make the five or six seed or whatever and don't get anybody in the all NBA. You're right. That is kind of – and like the Lakers who are barely in the playoffs yeah. are going to have two guys. And LeBron, like, imagine that team without LeBron and my man, though. LeBron yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? They've been holding it down. It's like, if you got a whole bunch of Mark ass busters for the supporting cast, it's only as far as you can get. You feel yeah. Me? Can I uh, make as we wrap up here? Can I make a, a proclamation for next year All NBA team? Yeah. I don't know if you guys have been watching the last couple of weeks. But my man DeAndre Ayton is back, baby. Dominating is out here. Just 25 and 12 every night beating people up. Now that the season is over, DeAndre Ayton is ready to play basketball. We're not, we're not, we're not allowing him to do this. We're not allowing no. this. Mike, yo, yo, hold on. Let me let me let me let me let me get on Mike's side. Let me get on Mike's side. If DeAndre Ayton is in a comfortable environment. Yeah, he could play basketball. But oh, you mean not sleeping on an air mattress? And I sleeping on an air mattress. Talking about it's too cold. There's ice outside. I don't know if I could do it anymore. If he, if everybody in the team's like DeAndre, we're friends. I think he's a baller. But we're gonna see if that happens. It's kind of hard in Portland when you everything is just going to the, 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 the shitter. But. I'm not mad at that tape. I'm not mad. <laughs> they won't. He's just been awesome. He's been so good been now that it doesn't matter. Like, also, Delano Banton. I mean, the Trailblazers lineups are crazy. But this guy, Delano Banton, he what? goes out there, and he's been dropping, like, 25 a game. <laughs> he said the lineups are crazy. They are. I mean, they – seriously. You're making fun it, of it, Cleveland. It is. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on Aiden's uh, player profile, and it has the rest of the team, and it's like, Dwap Wreath. Moses Brown, <laughs> said Ibu wow. Baji, like wow. who, who is these dudes? Yo, let me let me read you some uh, Memphis Grizzlies playing tonight. Justin Mignano, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tonight for the Grizzlies, we have Trey Jemison, <laughs> Jake Laravia, Scotty Pippen's kid. Uh, I, oh, he's not playing tonight. They had a guy named uh, like Momazara Pereira. Like, yeah. <laughs> Y'all sound like you're doing an improv exercise. Like, I just got a freestyle name. You just got to come up with names. 
<laughs> Justin. There's always that one guy's like Jebediah. <laughs> Jebediah. Hey, yo, yo, you, you're sleeping. You're sleeping. 33 minutes, had six points, four rebounds, four assists. Uh, my man, number 72 of guard, Ryan Rupert. Oh, yeah, no, that's on. one of the people that make it 2K. That's, that's <laughs> generated. You know what I'm saying? That sounds like someone uh, deep in a crypto. Ryan Rupert. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's just he's, he's number 72 play shooting guard. Oh, I didn't know they God. had 70. And, and shooting guard? 72 play you know, shooting you know they, guard? You know where they have 72? Remember Summer League where there was the dudes who wasn't going to make the roster? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to chill. We, here, yo, we got to chill. Let's not do this. Like, he was like, he's probably like, I want number nine. He was like, nah, man, we might. We're going to get somebody better. <laughs> you can get 72, <laughs> though. Get Seven and two make nine, dog. We got you. Yeah, they're like. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get nine, though. Seven and two make nine. <laughs> no. No. We go that's an incredible, that's an incredible hazing exercise. You're <laughs> like, what number do you want? They're like, all right, we're going to find two numbers that make that number. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Uh, hey, let's uh, let's remind people we're just over a month. Uh, May 11th, baby. Uh, May 11th, we're going to be in Long Island City. We're doing a live show at a new venue at the Grace of Crap on a freaking roof. We got Steve's birthday. We're going to watch some. We're going to do a show, watch some playoff basketball. Uh, I was talking to Kelsey about this. Uh, we were, we got to figure out a signature drink. We're going to have like a signature. Yes, I was going to say cocktail, but who knows if it's a cocktail. It's just going to be a signature drink. Um, so if you are in the in the, the greater tri-state area, uh, we're going to a Saturday night. We're going to have some fun, 6 p.m. on. So come hang out before we send Steve off to Japan for a couple weeks. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. jealous of that trip. That trip's going to be yeah. sick. Man, I'm, I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah. All right, fellas. Good stuff. Steve, you want to get us out of here? You just list the 89 Cavs, the best basketball podcast in the world. This is Justin. That's Mike. May all your endeavors go well. And may all your jump shots be wet like water. Stay up like a hot dick. <laughs> <laughs>